Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Ford Lizard, the planning diva. And today I am going to set up a weekly spread in my meal planner. And this is my happy planner planner pouch tote i'm not sure what exactly this is called but it is so cute and gorgeous and i've just been recently um inspired to use this tote it was kind of just sitting in the corner of my closet for a while because i thought like i would only really use it when i was like traveling with my planner and i sometimes do take it out here and there but i wasn't getting enough use out of it and i got the idea of putting all of my fitness and meal planning stuff in here because i always tend to dig around for my fitness sticker books my meal planning sticker books and i have like washi tape that i like to use in my fitness and meal planning um planners and i felt like everything was just like scattered to the four winds and whenever i felt like planning in my fitness or my meal planner i always had to like dig out all of these little items that I like using and then I thought about you know using this pouch as a place to like put all of my fitness and meal planning um, supplies so this is what I'm using it for now and so here's my meal planner gorgeous I love her and then I also have two of the sticker books that I like to use with this meal planner and how cute is this little pineapple um, keychain that I got at Hobby Lobby? It's so bedazzled and I think it goes really well with like the tropical feel of this um, pouch. So let me put that aside and grab my meal planner. So it's been a long time since I've done a meal planner plan with me and that's because honestly I wasn't really using my meal planner when I first started using this um, at the beginning of the year I was you know really into it I kept up with it really well for like the first few months and then of course inevitably I you know let go of it I got tired of it I couldn't keep up with it and I put it to the side for a good amount of months maybe like six seven eight months I put it aside I'm not sure exactly when I kind of, you know, um, dropped it, but I have been wanting to get back into it though. I really liked using it and I feel like it does bring a lot of value to my life. The only trick is finding the time to, you know, keep up with it, maintain it, and use it. And I think I will be able to keep up with it now. Um, so I graduated finally. Honestly, that was like the biggest time drain was, you know, finishing graduate school this year and I finally did it. So I feel like I'm finally like finding the time to get back into um, some of my plans so hopefully i will be able to keep up with it but i've already started kind of like playing around with how i want to use this so this is the monthly i'm envisioning this to be a space where i map out when i'm meal prepping and when i am like grocery shopping i kind of want to get a sense of like how often i meal prep and how often i go to the grocery store in a given month and then these pages i might be using for like inventories in my pantry or fridge or grocery lists i'm not sure exactly how i want to use those but um i didn't really get into this until this week the 7th and i had so much fun with this spread and honestly i set this up yesterday it's currently sunday and I kind of back planned a little bit just to get a sense of how I wanted to use these pages. And this is kind of how I decided that I wanted to use my meal planning um, planner. I want to use the breakfast through snacks sections just like they're meant to be used. But this section down here, which is the ingredients to prep section, I don't really need that as like you know a place to write down what i need to prep i would probably write that in the sidebar or maybe in my home life planner what i want to use this section down here for is for my um, calorie calculator i've always struggled with overeating i am a taurus i like to eat i like good food so something that helps me a lot to maintain my weight and make sure i'm not gaining weight um, and in fact that I'm more so losing weight because right now my, my health goal, my fitness goal is to lose a little bit of, of weight 
honestly i'm not too tied to that goal because i really think um weight isn't really a good measure of you know health i don't really mind being a certain weight as long as i look good and my body looks good and my body feels strong and my body feels tight but i do know that i do like to overeat and so i really want to keep track of my calories and make sure that i'm not you know in taking more calories than i'm burning so i just have this calorie calculator down here in this at, on this bottom section where i'm keeping track of my caloric intake my caloric output which is how many calories i'm burning in a given day and i um, get that information from my fitbit and i'm also keeping track of the net caloric gain or loss for any given day and then also keeping track of the running caloric total for the week because it is pretty hard to get a sense of how much weight you're gaining or losing over short time periods because people tend to lose weight gradually so if it, you've ever like been on a diet and like stepped on a scale you know day after day after day it is a little bit frustrating to not see any results immediately but with a caloric calculator you can kind of see the results even if you can't really feel them or just see them physically in your body like in any given day you could have a negative caloric loss of let's say 300 or 400 calories and you can't see that you know in your body but if you keep track of how many calories you're gaining or losing within a given week you really start to see how long it's gonna take you to lose a pound because you have to lose 3000 calories to lose a pound so if you're losing 100 to 200 calories a day then in a given week, you could be losing anywhere from like half a pound to a quarter pound. Anyway, I'm a data scientist, so I really like numbers and I like seeing progress through numbers and the caloric calculator has really helped me get a sense of how much weight I'm gaining or losing. But I don't have anything written down in it right now because again, I didn't really set this up until this weekend and I only really set it up just to get a sense of how I wanted to set up um, the following week which is going to be the 14th through the 20th so in this video we're going to set up this spread here okay um i have this idea that i want to use the sidebar as a grocery list so let me find one of these stickers so this is going to be um the market list here so i'll pop that down there and then i will just go ahead and write down any ingredients that i you know need to pick up um as i plan out my meal prepping and planning for the week so i don't know if i'm gonna you know need all these dots but i'll go ahead and just give myself a bunch of dots and okay i also like using mild liners just to give myself a little bit of uh, color on the page um, and I'm gonna be eating the same breakfast for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and I think Thursday as well I'm gonna be eating the same um, the same meal where's my pen That is a an egg, sausage, and cheese bagel. And actually, I think I'm gonna have the same meal on Wednesday, but not on um, Tuesday, now that I think about it. I'm gonna leave Tuesday open because I think I might be having breakfast, you know, at a um, at a restaurant with my mom because it's her birthday on Monday. But unfortunately, I work on Monday, and so I won't be able to have breakfast with her until Tuesday. So I'm gonna leave Tuesday blank for now. Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, um, I will have my egg, sausage, and cheese bagel, and then Friday. Friday, I'm going to um, maybe just keep things light and I'm gonna go ahead and have oatmeal 
and berries and a muffin with um, butter and jam. There's some jam in my pantry that I want to use. So I think I'm gonna do that. So that means I'm gonna have to get muffins. Um, so this is like English muffins, not like a, like a cupcake muffin. English muffin, um, I need to get that. I also need to pick up eggs now that I think about it. So eggs, okay, and then for lunches, I'm actually meal prepping, um, I'm meal prepping this weekend this amazing chicken eggplant parmigi. So I'm gonna be eating that um, for Monday and Wednesday for sure and probably for dinner on Wednesday as well. So eggplant, chicken, parmigiana. And actually, again, I'm gonna leave lunch blank on Tuesday because if I'm eating out on, if I'm eating out for breakfast, I'm probably gonna be very full for lunch. So I might not eat lunch slash eat a small lunch, so. I'm gonna leave Tuesday kind of empty for now because I really don't know what's gonna go on Tuesday. So eggplant, chicken, parmigiana, um, and then I'll eat that for dinner as well. Dinner Tuesday, I'm gonna leave blank. Monday dinner, let's see. And honestly, I'm probably just gonna eat the same thing for dinner on Monday. I'm just gonna, you know, pack two servings for myself when I head off to work. I tend to work um, until dinner time um, when I go, you know. And honestly, I'm probably gonna eat the eggplant chicken parmigiana for Monday dinner as well, so I'll eat it for lunch and dinner. Um, I'm going into campus on Monday, so I tend to stay late um, until after dinner at least, till maybe 7, 8 p.m. before I head home. And so I'll just probably pack two servings, lunch and dinner. And so I need to pick up chicken breasts and then i might eat it for dinner as well but again dinner i mean tuesday i don't really know what's gonna go on like i don't know what's happening so i'm just gonna leave everything blank for tuesday might eat it for dinner um but i think for sure i'll finish it by wednesday dinner i'll finish the chick eggplant chicken parmigiana and then thursday um i kind of want to do a green smoothie for lunch for both Thursday and Friday and then for dinner for dinner I might I might do the chicken salad again honestly um, I don't tend to like make the same meal twice in a row but I, I have all the ingredients to make the chicken salad um, so I think it would make sense to do the chicken salad um, Especially since I am leaving, I'm heading out Friday night, and so I kind of want to make something really quick that I don't have to, you know, buy a lot of ingredients for, and also I, I won't have the ingredients sitting around um, after I leave. I mean, I'm only gone until Tuesday, but still, I kind of just want to make something quick, fast, easy tasty and so I have all the ingredients to make the chicken salad and I think I'm just gonna make a batch um maybe Thursday day and then eat that for dinner Thursday to Friday because I have the grapes the almonds the celery the shallot the chicken um I have everything the mayo yeah I have everything to make that chicken salad so it would be an easy meal. So I guess, yeah, I'll do the chicken salad. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna leave blank because I'm gonna be road tripping these two days. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like fill out what I eat um, that weekend um, after the fact because I'm not even gonna try to plan out what I'm eating that weekend. And I think I have eggplant stickers in here. Yep, <laughs> these are so cute. Um, I'm going to pop in some eggplant stickers here on 
for the eggplant chicken parmigiana. This Happy and Hungry sticker book is probably one of my favorite sticker books that Happy Planner has come out with. I just love food stickers. They're just so cute and adorable. I think they're just so fun. I'm gonna grab this egg sticker and pop it there um, for the egg, cheese, and sausage bagel. Uh, I've been loving those bagels that I've been making. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I wanna add on here? No, I think, I think I'm good. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is set up my calorie calculator. And I'm just gonna use Mojo Jojo Plans stickers. These are quarter boxes. I'm gonna just put four of them down here on the side. I guess I could just use uh, mild liners to set these up, but I kind of want to get through my stickers. So we'll go ahead and use four of these quarter boxes. And then I'll just use mild liners. I'll use four mild liners to set up my um, calorie calculator. I'll use red for my caloric intake, blue for the caloric output, and this is a stat I get from my Fitbit. And then I'll use yellow for my net caloric gain or loss, hopefully loss. So, and lastly, I'll use pink for my weekly running caloric total. Let me write down um, the labels here. And I've been enjoying putting some washi tape down at the bottom here, and I think I can squeeze it in. So I'll put down this washi. That's a little bit crooked, so let me pick that up again. My washi always comes out very crooked. I'm gonna have to pick that up again. It came out crooked again. I'm so upset. Let's try this again. Okay, I think that's decent. It's decent. Okay, that's fine. And that's it. That's my meal planning situation. Very quick, very simple. This is really helpful in terms of, you know, setting up what I'm gonna eat. I'm so guilty of like not really planning ahead and then, you know, the day happens and I don't have anything for lunch or dinner and I end up eating out. I end up snacking on a bunch of empty calories and then overeating, over consuming, gaining weight because I'm trying to feel nourished on empty calories. And so planning out my meals has really, really helped me um, maintain a healthy weight. And also it just feels good to have a nice home cooked meal and to have something always in the fridge or in your lunch bag ready to go. And it's also made me a better cook. So I'm very, very happy with my meal planner. And I'm trying to kind of strike a happy medium between planning and also leaving things, um, you know, open to being changed. Like, for example, Tuesday, I'm not sure what's going on Tuesday because I might be eating out, not sure. And then, of course, the weekend, I'm going to be road tripping, so I have no idea what's going to happen for meals. But I'm just trying to be very, very flexible, but also having at least a semblance of a plan in place. But that is my meal planner. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Let me know how your meal planning is going or if you're meal planning at all in the comments down below. I would love to know. And as always, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.